Hello stampers, it's Madeline from stampawithmadeline.com, the Wonderland stamper. This week our focus is going to be the beautiful Peacock stamp set. This is a gorgeous stamp set that you can get for free um, when you spend $50. So right now, as I've talked about, the Occasions catalog is now live. This is a beautiful catalog. There's so much good stuff in it. If you go back one video um, to where I announced the winner for the big haul prize for this month, uh, I went through this catalog a little bit with you. So every $50 that you spend with in the Occasions catalog and or the annual catalog, you get something for free out of the celebration catalog. So they have something new this time where if you spend a uh, hundred, you get an even bigger item for free. But this beautiful peacock set, if you spend 50, you get this and it is one that you will use forever. I'm in love with it already. So right on the cover here, you can see it. There is an example card that they show using the embossing paste and lots of little cute accessories. Um, I created two cards that I wanna share with you that we are going to make today. And just so you're aware, there will be five more projects that I'm going to show you how to use um, using or how to make using the beautiful Peacock set over on my blog. So if you go below, my blog link is stampwithmadeline.com. Um, you can shop right from there and you can see my blog post that will have the projects in it. So every single day during the week, Monday through Friday, I have a different project that is posted. So make sure you subscribe so that you get an email for every project that I put up. So we are going to make these two today over um, on this video. And then again, there'll be five more cards that you will um, see me make over on my blog that you can make with me. And I'll put all the supplies over there for what you'll need for these cards. And also when I post the projects, I post the supply list for those as well. That'll bring you right into my online shop when you click on them. So this is the best time of the year for, for Stampin' Up! because you get so much stuff for free. There is ribbon, so I'm using a ribbon over here that is for free. There's papers, there's stamp sets. It's really the best time to shop. So it goes from now until the end of March, so it's a good time to stock up on the things that you know that you'll like and get some new stamp sets that you can play with. Um, first, we are going to do this card. So these are both... Um, really easy cards that look beautiful. So what you're going to need for this is I use the Dazzling Diamonds paper. So I have that at five and a half by four and a quarter. All of these dimensions will be over on my blog as well. I then have a piece of Wisteria Wonder that is five by three and three quarters. And I already did an embossing folder on it just to um, have it done for you. This is the Layering Leaves Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. It's a long name. Um, the Big Shot is my favorite for these embossing folders. You really get to make a lot of cool designs using them. So this is what I'm using for both cards actually. Um, so I put that through already. So that's three and three quarters by five. And then I used the Layering Ovals set of framelits with the big shot and I did the three um I'll show you I did these three so the biggest ones over here I did those three those are in wild wasabi and then I also did I use the stitch framelits to match with these so that they fit right inside of these perfectly and I used the stitched shapes so this is a great framelit set to get because there are circles, ovals, and squares. So I use the three biggest of the ovals. And this set gets used a lot. I really like the little addition that it adds to your cards. Okay, so let's get started on how we're going to make this card. First, we are going to... Oh, I almost forgot. You're also going to need this beautiful ribbon. I love this ribbon. This you can use our new blends to change the color of it. This is organza ribbon uh, and it's whisper white and I love it. So you'll also need that. I think I got everything. You'll also need wisteria wonder ink and also wild wasabi ink. And then I used some adorable little rhinestones to accentuate the peacock's little tail. Okay. So that is everything you'll need. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little layering here. I like how I like this card because it continues on and it matches up with each one. So it's very easy to do. 
So you're going to put everything aside except for your whisper white pieces. You're going to line these up so that they are um, a little bit overlap happening, but not a lot. You just want a little tiny bit of overlap. So kind of like that. You're going to take whatever adhesive that you're using and you're just going to put a tiny little dot on the edge because what happens is we're going to have to rip this back up so you don't want it to be a lot of adhesive. So I'm just putting a tiny bit. You do want to put enough so that it does stay together when we're stamping, but not too much. So see, I'm only doing a tiny bit of overlap because what happens is when you put the wild wasabi on the back and you start layering it out, you don't want it to be too um, pushed together. I do want it spread out a little bit. Um, so not too much overlap going on here. As we start stamping, you will notice that we may not get as clear of an image going from oval to oval, but that's okay because we are going to be covering it up um, with this overlap once we get everything together. Okay, so the beautiful Peacock set is a photopolymer stamp set. So you're going to need a piercing mat. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the beautiful Peacock and I'm going to do that in the wild wasabi. Also have a, a piece of scrap paper out because we're going to be double stamping. And I'll tell you what that means. That's for the second card. All right, so I'm just inking up the peacock here in the wild wasabi. And I'm going to, she's going to take up the entire mini oval here. And she is going to go a little bit into the next oval. So just press with some good pressure. And there we go. So see, you want it to be adhesive enough so that when you pull up, they aren't coming apart. Okay, now I'm going to take out Wisteria Wonder. And this is why these are fabulous that they're clear because we are going to do her tail and there is a space in there so that it fits right with where she is. Um, if they weren't clear, that would be pretty hard to line up. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap on this Wisteria Wonder, get it nice and inked, and then take your time with this. You really wanna get it lined up perfectly And then press really good so that it's getting fully inked. And you can tell right where that division is of the ovals that it's taking a little bit more pressure to get inked. There we go. And see there is that space, but don't worry about that because we will be covering it up. Okay, so now we are going to have a lot of fun with her tail feathers here. So I'm using two of the stamps, two of the stamps from the um, stamp set. Let me show you on the stamp set so it's easy to see. I'm going to be using this one and the leaves here. Okay, so first I'm going to do the bigger, or actually the smaller one in the pair or the wild wasabi. So what I'm going to be doing is inking it up really good, starting from where her tail is, pressing down fully. But then I'm not going to re-ink. I'm going to go again, lining it up. That way you get that multiple color going, which I really like. And I want to extend this tail to keep going. So line up. And it's okay if you stamp off a little bit onto your pierce mat. Just make sure that you clean it up. Oh, I forgot to stamp down. Again. That's okay. Okay, so go from like, I, I aim for the stems. That way it looks like it's a full continuance of her tail. It's not coming out from nowhere. There we go. I'm gonna do one more of this. And then we'll add in the Wisteria Wonder ones. So again, I'm just looking for places where this, the tail looks like it's coming out from another piece of the tail. There we go. And then I'm going to take the bigger um, part of her tail stamp and I'm going to use Wisteria Wonder and I'm doing the same technique. So I'm going to aim to where the tail touches. Okay, stamp fully down and then move and stamp again. That way you're getting that different colors going on in there. And the Wisteria Wonder is pretty light already. So you're not, it's not going to be a very big show here. 
but just a little bit. You just want a little bit of purple in here and you'll see why it matches with everything, which I love. I'm just going to do a little bit down here. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to do the sentiment. So the sentiment is beautiful friend. I'm going to do it in Wisteria Wonder and I'm just going to find an empty space. So this depends on where you put the tail feathers. I'm going to put it up here. You could do this in a different color if you like. I just like that it all matches. There we go. It's a little bit hard to see, but I like it. Okay, so now we are going to close up the ink because we're all done with the ink. We don't want to get it on anything else. And again, if you've got any ink on your piercing mat, make sure that you clean that up so it doesn't transfer on to another project. All right, now we're going to gently tear these apart. So it shouldn't be too much adhesive. You should be able to nicely spread them apart. Now we're going to take our ovals that we made with our Big Shot, and we're just going to put these together. So first we're putting down our stitch shape ovals onto the wild wasabi. I say the clouds. I like how cloud shapes they look like. And then we'll get them all layered together to have that overlap design. Make sure you center them so that there's a little bit of that cloud shape coming out on all edges. There we go. Okay, so now before you glue, you just want to line these up and make sure that everything's looking the way that you want them. So start with the big one line this up and you'll see how they all nicely line up all the lines and everything i love this overlap technique there we go it's looking great okay so let's start with our second to biggest put a little bit of adhesive just right on the edge you don't need a lot line it up the way that you want it make sure it's straight there we go and then the smallest one, again, just a little bit of adhesive on the edge. Line everything up and then press down fully to get it nice and attached. There we go. So there is our layering starting. Okay, now we're going to put together our card. So first what we wanna do is we're going to tie the ribbon around our Wisteria Wonder. So whatever ribbon you wanna use for this, I just thought that this one matched really well this organza ribbon. All right, so I'm going to center it on this piece of Wisteria Wonder and then tie a bow. I'm not gluing anything down, that way I can move things around if I need to. And you don't have to worry about adhesiving the bow down because we're going to put the ovals right over this so that it'll be nicely held together. And you can always fix your bow to be the way that you want it. Okay, so I'm going to put this all the way towards the edge because our ovals are going to take up a lot of space here. Okay, and then we're going to adhesive this. So this is where you put a lot of adhesive to make sure that it stays together and down. Make sure it's fully on the Wisteria Wonder. You could have it over, you could have it overhang if you wanted it to. Mine is going to a little bit. And it depends. So on this, you can see I was more spread out than this one. And it's totally up to you. I like every every card that you make, even if it's the same design, I like that it's always a little bit different every time. Okay, and then this is going to go onto our Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper. This, you get glitter everywhere when you're creating with it, but I love it. It really makes it pop. So I'm just centering it on there. And then you can trim up your ribbon. So I just have, I want a little bit less overhang there. And there is our card. Ooh, I almost forgot. Let's put on the Pretty Rhinestones. So this is the rhinestone basic jewels, and I'm going to put them in the holes here like I did on the example card. So I'm using the smallest ones 
And I have a little poker tool. We have this in our catalog. It's a little bit different. This one is a clay tool that I had. I just like it because it has a really big handle on it. And then it's up to you. Oh, that one didn't get right in the circle. Okay, it's up to you whether you want to put one here. Um, I did over here, but I'm going to not over here just because her beak is perfectly in there. So I'm going to leave that blank. Okay, so there is our first card. Super easy, but I love the way that it looks. Um, now you would put this on a card base. Um, so in my videos, I don't attach them to a card base, but you would have a card base that was eight and a half by five and a half, fold it in half, and then you attach this right on the front. So this is all ready to go out. Okay, so now we're going to move into our second card. Here is our second card. I love it. I'm going to teach you a little technique with the ribbon um, that I, I don't think I've done before in my videos yet. What you're going to need for this card is a piece of Tranquil Tide, four and a quarter by five and a half. You can see the glitter it just gets everywhere. That's okay. It's pretty. This I use the layered leaves again, the uh, embossing folder for the big shot, just to give it some texture. Then I have a piece of um, berry burst at three by four and a quarter. This I used the another embossing folder, the petal burst, and I love this one. So we're actually going to put this on backwards, so the imprint of it instead of the one that is pushed up, um, and then. We're going to have a piece of Whisper White that is three by four and a quarter. So the same size as this, um, and I like it because it just lines up perfectly with this. And then I'm going to use, again, the beautiful Peacock stamp set, but I'm going to use some of the Shimmer Ribbon that you can get for free from the Celebration Catalog if you spend a uh, another $50. Um, so this has three different colors in its pack, and this is one of them, and I love that pack. Okay, so you're also going to need some inks for this. So we're going to use Tranquil Tide ink and Berry Burst, just to match with our colors here. And we're going to be using the same stamps, except I am going to add some little flowers to what we're going to be using. All right, so all we need right now is our piercing mat and our piece of Whisper White. I'll be finding glitter for days. Okay, so we're going to stamp our peacock first in the Tranquil Tide. So I'm just going to get her nice and inked and just stamp her right near the top. There we go. And then I'm going to do the biggest stamp for the tail feathers here. And this is going to be in Tranquil Tide. We're going to be using the same stamp for the other color, the Berry Burst. So we're just going to want to wipe it down when we're done. So I'm going to start from down here. Stamp once. And then we're going to stamp again. And in my example card, I just did stamp off. So what I did, and I'll show you, was I used a piece of scrap paper. I would ink up my stamp, stamp it on here fully, just like you're stamping on your card. And then I would stamp it on here. But I'm not going to do that because I, I wanted to do um, a bolder color and then stamp off on the same thing. Okay, I'm going to do one up. So re-ink it, and this is going to go off your Whisper White a bit, but that's okay, and then go again. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I actually kind of like it better with two of the tone, two tones of the one color. Okay, now we're going to get into Berry Burst. So you want to wipe off your stamp just so it's nice and clean and doesn't get your Tranquil Tide in your Berry Burst. Get it nice and inked. And again, I am doing a little bit different than my example card. But like I said, every card that you do looks a little bit different. Oh, I love it. Okay. And I'm just aiming, I'm stamping right at the base of her tail feather. 
There we go. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, now we are going to do the sentiment in the same color, so in berry burst. And I'm going to do it right up here. There we go. And then it's up to you. You can do these little flowers if you want. Um, I did a few up on the top. I'm going to do them in berry burst here. I'm going to come in at a diagonal, though, this time. There we go. And then you can put a few around if you'd like, just within the tail. Totally up to you. I'm going to switch and do the little one, but do it in Tranquil Tide. And these are just to add some little accents in there. Totally optional. Isn't it a beautiful peacock? I just love it. It's so easy to make. There we go. Okay, so we're almost done with this. Now we're going to attach the ribbon. So I'm going to teach you how to get that cute folded look on your ribbon. All right, so this was a little difficult for me at first. What I was doing was I was attaching the ribbon looking at the front, but what I found helps the best is to actually flip it over and do the ribbon folding this way. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm going to put like three lines of it in a row here. So you could use double stick tape. You need something that's going to hold it automatically. You know, as soon as you put it down, it's sticky. Instead of having to wait, um, you want to be fully um, easy for the ribbon to grab onto. So I'm not going to cut the, rub the ribbon. I'm just going to take a bunch of it out. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to start... Just place it down and you're just making like A's almost, like the base of an A. So just little loops. And then come up, flip it over, come down and just, you want them to be the same height and stop at the same place here. So I'm going up, making a V and then flipping it down. So almost, I'm just making little V's in the different directions is probably a better description of it. And this took me a few times. So practice makes perfect. But I liked this because it's a different way to use the ribbon. And I loved the way that it looked on the end result. I'm running out of ribbon here. There we go. Oh, I'm going to cut this and then finish it up. And the nice thing about using this double stick tape is that you can edit it. You know, if it doesn't go down the way that you like, you can go back and edit it. And there we go. I love that look. You can do it more spread out if you want to. It's totally up to you. So that's that for that part. Now we're going to put our card together. So I'm going to put adhesive on the part of the petal embossing folder that is pressed up. And then we're going to use this other side. So I'm going to have it a little bit showing of Tranquil Tide on both sides. Make sure you put enough adhesive on it. These papers that have the embossing folder used on them, sometimes it's harder for them to stick down. All right, now I'm going to put adhesive across all my little ribbon loops there, just so I know it'll stay down. And then I'm going to cent or put a line, like line it up with this part. That way everything is shown the way that you want it to. So you have a little bit of the berry burst sticking out. And you can see the tranquil tide. Make sure it's fully stuck down. And there you go. There's your second card. So I actually, there's two different ways to make it with the less tail and more tail. And I like this one a little bit better. So again, this card is ready to be put on a base that is um, eight and a half by five and a half folded in half. 
and then you put this right on the front and it's ready to go. So those were the cards that I hope you liked making with me with beautiful Peacock. Um, again, it is the best time of the year to shop with Stampin' Up! Every $50 that you spend, uh, you could get something for free from the Celebration catalog and you could get this stamp set. Um, I will be posting uh, Monday through Friday a project a day using this on my blog over on stampinwithmadeline.com. So make sure you subscribe over there so you get an email. I'll have a full tutorial with pictures and descriptions of how to make five more projects using this stamp set. Make sure to see the video from my last video before this where I announced the haul winner um, and also went through the catalog a little bit. So if you don't have the catalog yet, you can kind of see it. Um, if you don't have a catalog and you'd like one and you're looking for a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator and I could mail a catalog out to you right away. So just reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and liked these cards. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube and my blog. And for now, keep stamping stampers. Bye.